Um, the second is antimicrobial, and the third is anti-diabetes. But this is only to begin with because we have, um, I guess, limited staff and resources at the moment. But going forward, we definitely want to branch out and try to tackle as many um, diseases or illnesses as possible, especially illnesses that our people are dealing with at the moment. So um, going forward, we definitely want to expand. Um, so that's that's permitting our funds and, and resources permitting. I think first of all, Trust strongly acknowledges the strong support of our government. This would not have been possible without the, the support of our government who helped us establish the the Biodiscovery Center. I do have belief in our local scientists who believe that we can, we can do this research on our own. Um, and I also know going forward they continue to support us. We also acknowledge our traditional healers whose knowledge they've been doing this for many years. So we're only trying to, I guess, almost see how their knowledge works in the lab. But it's something our traditional healers in our communities have been doing for many years already. So it's almost like we're just trying to um, I guess extend or expand on, on their, their current knowledge. But going forward, we're really hopeful that our biodiscovery center um, really rolls out really positive um, drugs or um, remedies, so for example, the guava tea bag that we're currently working on to address um, the wide range of um, illnesses that our population is dealing with. Yes, our, our scientists and our CEO have met with our traditional healers. Um, we have a, a small group to La Samoa, and I'm happy to say our CEO and our, our research team have met with them a few times. We strongly acknowledge and they have been really supportive of our, of our research. So that's why we strongly acknowledge their support as well and commend them for their, this really important knowledge that they're using to benefit our people using it.